we're gonna make it through the Rage Dome show, we're gonna need more trolls. Trolls 3 is here, and we're about to uncover the captivating backstory of two intriguing characters, Velvet and Veneer. Grab your glitter and get ready for a tail spun with harmony and rhythm. Who exactly are these new species? What's their background? The new DreamWorks animation promised to be a fun adventure with plenty of exciting new additions. Okay, I cannot with her. It's really too much. <gasps> Luckily, the fan favorite characters came back, but this time they had to deal with one very challenging mission. In the third installment of Trolls, Poppy discovers that Branch and his four brothers were one part of her favorite boy band. As the synopsis for the movie explains, one of Branch's siblings, Floyd, gets kidnapped by a pair of nefarious villains. Hey! Veneer, what's with your vibe in your face? So, our beloved Branch and Poppy embark on a brand new adventure, trying to reunite the other brothers and save Floyd from a disastrous fate. According to some people who've already seen the film, Trolls 3 is a bit disappointing compared to its predecessors. I honestly feel like the movie did a good job, but I'll leave it up to you to decide whether the third installment was as great as the previous Trolls flicks. So, who's Velvet? Well, first of all, the character is played by the one and only Amy Schumer. Velvet is one of the members of the new pop duo in the third installment. She is in fact one of the biggest villains in the film since she is the evil mastermind behind using Brozone's powers to hide the fact that they have no talent at all. Amy Schumer is a popular actress comedian who has previously appeared in Trainwreck and I Feel Pretty. Her co-star Andrew Rannells is the voice behind Veneer. Veneer is Velvet's brother and the other member of their pop duo. The two have several differences but the main one is the fact that Veneer is not as evil as his sister. Andrew Rannells is a popular actor with plenty of roles under his belt, including the ones in the TV show Girls and the movie The Prom. But what exactly was the purpose of these villains in Trolls 3? Where do they come from? Our dances sucked. Wake up! Wakey wakey! Oh. What happened to them at the end? Are they set to appear in the fourth Trolls installment? Let's give some answers to all of these questions while doing a Trolls Band Together recap, shall we? Trolls Band Together was theatrically released in Denmark on October 12, 2023, and in the United States on November 17th. The creators decided to make the third party in the entry franchise all about family relationships as the characters discover some major secrets about each other. As mentioned before, Trolls 3 focuses mostly on Branch, and Poppy was a bit left out since this time, viewers and Poppy learned all about Branch's past. Just as the synopsis confirmed, Branch was in a boy band with his four brothers ever since he was born. However, at one point in his life, he had to watch his brothers go their separate ways. Thus, the band was broken up. I have to admit that this storyline fits great in the franchise since now we all have more understanding of Branch and his characteristics. At one point in the movie, Branch's brother John Dory, voiced by Eric Andre, comes to find him at King Grist and Bridget's wedding. John Dory then takes Branch and Poppy on a brand new adventure. They visit several exciting places including an island community, an abandoned mini golf course, and an entertaining world of Mount Ragius, where they meet the ambitious pop stars Velvet and Veneer. The two are coming up with a villainous plan. So what exactly is Branch, Poppy, and John's purpose? Well, they want to get Floyd, Branch's other brother, back. But wait, there's more melody to unravel here. Before we dive into more details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. The adventure in Trolls 3 is harmonizing with new tunes, and you won't want to miss a beat. So who exactly are the new species in the Trolls 3? There is something really interesting when it comes to Velvet and Veneer. They are, yes, humanoid, but they and Bruce's wife Brandy are different from Trolls and Bergen. They have plenty of differences when compared to each other. When you you compare the trolls with Velvet and Veneer, you'll realize the trolls are way smaller and, well, happier. But I'm gonna ask again, what exactly are these new species? Well, the third film failed to give more pieces of information regarding the Vacay Islanders and Velvet and Veneer. In other words, the species' names are still unknown. The Vacay Islanders can be seen in the sequences when Branch and Poppy take Branch's brother Bruce. They appear to be taller than the trolls. And when it comes to Velvet and Veneer species, well, they are obviously thinner with interesting looking legs and arms. To save Floyd. Now let's roll! <laughs> 
Their hair seems to be made out of separate strands forming one. Trolls Band Together is the perfect title for a film like this. The lack of species name seems to suggest a continuation, a much needed continuation. Velvet and Veneer are directly involved with Floyd being kidnapped. But how did this happen? What brought Floyd to Mount Regius? What was his pursuit? While we can use different theories about this question, it seems like Floyd visited Mount Regius because he wanted to explore. He simply wanted to visit that place, and that's pretty much it. I think the creators could have used a more complex storyline here, but it is what it is. There's a big chance he was attracted to the musical energy in the place. He was then caught by the villainous velvet and veneer in that diamond perfume bottle. He was previously just wandering and exploring the place before this happened. No one could have identified his captors because back then, no one knew about velvet and veneer. Velvet was the one who sent John Dory a letter asking him to come and get Floyd. Some people think that velvet and veneer Veneer left their home in order to look for someone who was talented and was in a successful boy band so that they could steal his talent. This is a likely storyline, but it's not confirmed by the creators of the movie. The film's director revealed that both Velvet and Veneer are in nature, 90s pop divas, and are a nod to fake celebs. The film also implies that Velvet and Veneer are fraternal twins. They have identical skin eye colors, and hair. The twins' parents are mentioned in the movie, but nowhere to be seen. Last but not least, Veneer shares a lot of resemblance with Floyd. Floyd is the one who discovers that Veneer isn't an evil creature. Veneer was once nice and honest, but lost his true self because he was too kind. In other words, Veneer is not a bad creature like his twin sister. By the way, did you guys know that Trolls 4 is happening? Although Trolls 3 has just received its theatrical release, the creators are already talking about a potential fourth entry in the franchise. The franchise the franchise has been breaking records since 2016, and it's been wonderful to see all these talented stars voicing the beloved, well-developed characters throughout the years. Branch is finally reunited with his brothers, and it seems like the mission was successful. But many questions are still left unanswered after watching the third installment. Does this mean Trolls 4 is on the way? Well, both Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake want to do as many Trolls movies as possible. In 2020, during an Apple Music takeover via Billboard, Timberlake said that he'd like to make at least seven Trolls films. He even referred to the movies as the gift that keeps on giving, explaining that it's his pleasure to be able to work in the film as an actor and being able to work in music as a performer, singer, songwriter, and producer. Do you guys think Trolls should go beyond its third installment? As we wrap up this musical journey, share your thoughts on Velvet and Veneer in the comments. If you're as excited about Trolls 3 as we are, hit us with a like and stay tuned for more Trolls updates. Until then, may your days be filled with melodies as catchy as a troll's soundtrack. See ya!